welcome, welcome to Angry Appliance Repair Person. For the record, you're looking at them. This presentation is going to be about noise. I have a lot of complaints on new refrigeration. Freezer on the top, freezer on the bottom, doesn't matter. I have a lot of homeowners that complain that the new ones are louder than the older ones. That is a lot of a big concern these days. So when they call me out there thinking, this thing is making a knocking noise. I think someone is at my front door. But in reality, it's coming from the refrigerator. Why is it doing this? The one I had for 30 years never did it. But now all of a sudden, I've got this thing in my house that I just bought. What? What, smartest man? All right, I'm sorry, I'll calm down. My, my apologies. So the way that this works, the new refrigerators, when they make noise, there are some reasons for it. And regretfully, it has a lot to do with the government regulations that they impose. I'll give you an example. In your house, you can either use fiberglass or foam these days. Older homes have fiberglass in the walls. Newer homes, they foam it in. Appliances are exactly the same. They had fiberglass in them for years, but now, now we use spray foam and we put foam inside the liners. Foam is good for, for temperature, not for noise. There are a lot of more noises that people hear now that all refrigerators made, but you never heard them before. In the newer ones, they are more obvious. So I'm going to explain a few just so you understand. Obviously, if the refrigerator has an ice maker in it, the ice maker will make noise when it's running. It makes noise when it fizzes. It makes noise when it dumps. It makes noise when the ice maker is in use. And depending on how hard the cubes are, how frozen they are in the ice maker, it is harder for the ice maker to get the cubes out. And a lot of the ice makers are now plastic. So the plastic ice makers are known to tick and make louder noises than the older ice makers, which were made of a metal body. These new ice makers have a plastic body and they make more noise when they're in use. But again, it is just the ice maker. You should be able to open the freezer when you hear the noise and see if the ice maker is running. If it is, then you know that that is the problem. Or if you have one where it's in the refrigerator door, you should be able to open the door and just take a look. But normally most people can hear when the ice maker is running, they just go over to the unit and they say, oh, that's just the ice maker ready to dump ice in my bucket. So when that happens, you can kind of tell. Another popular noise that we get is when it goes into self-defrost. All freezers and refrigerators have self-defrost mechanisms. There are different kinds, but the bottom line is they all have heaters. And the heater comes on to defrost the frost off the coil. You can get a sizzle, you can get some weird noises, especially if you happen to open your freezer door right when it's in defrost. You will hear that self-defrost going. Again, nothing to worry about. It only lasts for a few minutes, 10, maybe 15 in some cases, and then it will turn back on and start to run. So again, nothing to worry about. Another problem, and this one is a little more involved. This particular noise, when someone says to me that my refrigerator is knocking, that is a little bit different. Now, the knocking noise or the gurgle is another one that I get. Those two particular noises with the knocking or the gurgle, those particular noises can come from the unit's operation. Without going into too much detail, the bottom line is they can gurgle and they can knock, but they shouldn't last longer than approximately five minutes. If the noise lasts less than five minutes, it is probably not a problem. Whether it is a knock, it is a gurgle, or the compressor on some units will actually rev. I'm going to do my best interpretation. The smartest man in the house will yell at me if this does not come out right, but I will try. So when a compressor is revving, as we call it in the business, it will go and then when it goes quieter, when it doesn't need to run as fast to save power, and it will basically sound more quiet when it is not that someone opened the door or left the door open or the door was open while the stuff was being put in. Compressors these days that are DC compressors, they can rev up and down. That is normal. In the old days, we used AC compressors, which made one noise and that's it. And when an AC compressor turns on, especially after a self-defrost cycle, they can be rather loud and they can make some noise. But again, the noise only lasts approximately five minutes or less. 
So if your refrigerator is making a noise with the exception of the ice maker and it's lasting less than five minutes, do not call a serviceman. There's probably nothing wrong with that. It is just starting up maybe after a self-defrost cycle or during a self-defrost cycle. But because of the insulation that we use these days, there are going to be a lot of more weird noises that this thing is going to make. It is not broken. It is just different. Again, if the noise goes away in about five minutes and it maybe it comes back an hour later for five minutes or less, it's not a problem. There is nothing wrong as long as your food is cold and everything's fine. If you have a problem with a fan motor in the refrigerator, that's going to make noise all the time. Every time that thing runs, you're going to hear this loud noise if you have a problem. But if it only does it for a few minutes, and there are plenty of times in the day that you can hear the refrigerator running and it sounds just fine, there's nothing wrong. You probably don't have anything wrong. Do not spend money to call the servicemen out for something like that. Because all he's going to do is use the saying that I hate the most. That's the way it is. And there's nothing that we can do about changing it. Okay, so for the senile thought each week, one of the things that I always get questioned where the customer isn't sure that is a professional. What does the word professional mean? What does it mean? Professional means that you are paying someone to do a job. Professional does not mean that person knows what they're doing. Professional does not mean that they are the best there is and their final word is going to be what is wrong with it. No, I'm sure everyone watching this presentation has had a serviceman in one sense or another, or regretfully even a doctor, which I will refer to that as a serviceman as well in this situation, because the doctor is servicing you. Oh wait, that didn't sound right, did it? Let me turn that back over. The doctor is helping you. That's a better word to say. The doctor is helping you. So the serviceman, professional, is helping you with a problem. But that doesn't mean that he knows what he's doing. So, in my opinion, when you have a person in your house, it is best to use the internet. Uh, someone like me, for example, on my shows. Hey, there's a good plug. The smartest man in the house are like that. So, basically, you can watch these presentations to try to educate yourself a little bit as to what this appliance is doing. So, when the professional comes to your house, you can kind of quiz him a little bit, or her, excuse me, to make sure that they basically know what they are saying and what they are doing. The biggest thing I think is a mistake is when you completely 100% trust that person. You should be a little bit educated to know what is wrong with your appliance, and a little bit about how it works, not a lot, but that you know that this particular person that you are paying money for to come into your home knows what he's doing. One of the hardest things to try to figure out is how to find the proper one. We'll talk about that in another presentation. But for this, just to know that this particular individual coming into your house is actually someone that knows what they're doing. It is best to educate yourself a little bit and so you understand that, yes, I think this gentleman does know what he's doing. But also understand that because you are paying someone to do a job, that is all professional means. To say that, well, this guy is a pro, all you are saying is you're paying him. It doesn't mean he knows what he's doing. It doesn't mean that you can trust that he knows what is going on with whatever we're talking about. So please keep that in mind when you are hiring someone. Just because he's a professional doesn't mean that he is an expert. It means that you are paying him to do a job and hopefully he knows what he is doing. And as always, thank you for spending some of your day with us.